Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Last year in June of 2022, Intel disclosed a set of vulnerabilities mainly affecting older Intel CPUs on Windows devices. And finally, a good couple of months later, Microsoft now has finally started rolling out a set of out-of-band fixes for these different flaws, um, basically disclosed by Intel last year in June of 2022. Now, before we have a look at the actual fixes, um, just to give you an overview of what this is all about, um, Intel describes these vulnerabilities as processor MMRO stale data vulnerabilities. Now, that's quite a mouthful. And MMRO stands for Memory Mapped Input Output. And because of this, Microsoft now has released um, a set of a total of six emergency updates, which we also refer to as out-of-band updates or fixes for Windows 10, Windows 11, and Windows Server. Now, Intel carries on to say, and I'm quoting this, that these vulnerabilities are a class of memory mapped vulnerabilities that can expose data. Now, this is all quite a mouthful, and uh, the detail given by Intel is quite lengthy and detailed. But nonetheless, all you need to know is that if you are affected by these vulnerabilities, it can expose your data. That's the long and the short of all of this. But the good news is, though, that uh, Intel carries on to say, and I'm quoting this, the sequences of operations for exposing data range from simple to very complex, and many environments are not affected. So the good news is that if you haven't noticed anything weird or awry on your system since last year, back in June, then there's a good chance you will not be affected by these different vulnerabilities. Now, um, these vulnerabilities are mainly affecting Intel 6th Gen processors and Intel Xeon E chips, which are older processors. And Microsoft basically describes this as an attacker who successfully exploited these vulnerabilities might be able to read privileged data across trust boundaries. And once again, that's quite a mouthful, but that just means that your data can be exposed. And because of this, now Microsoft has um, started rolling out a a new set of out-of-band security updates for Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows Server 2016, 2019, and 2022. Now, these out-of-band updates you are not going to find um, on your Windows Update page. So if you are running Windows 10, Windows 11, or Windows Server, if you head to your Windows Update page, they will not be rolling out and be available on your Windows Update page. Most out-of-band updates, which are emergency updates, get rolled out through the Windows Update catalog page, which you have to manually download and install. So just to head over to each different update, and there are six in total, and for Windows 10 versions uh, 22H2, 21H2, and 20H2, here is the update, KB5019180. And then I've gone on to list all the different updates. And this is for Windows 11 21H2. That's the update. That's for Windows 11 22H2. You get the picture. That's for Windows Server 2016. That's the update for Windows Server 2019. And that's the update for Windows Server 2022, as mentioned, all addressing the same vulnerabilities. And as mentioned, you have to manually download these updates from the Microsoft Update Catalog if you think your device would be affected, mainly affecting older Intel CPUs as mentioned. So what you need to do, and by the way, I'll leave all of this um, down below in the description for easier access and reference. And reference. So what you need to do is you just need to copy the KB, and then you need to head over to the Microsoft Update Catalog, which I will leave a link to in the description as well. Just paste that in, do a search, and this is where the different updates will be listed for each individual update. As mentioned, I'll leave all of this down below. And then you just find your different uh, version of your operating system and you download the update and install it manually. And if you don't know how to download and install an update manually, I've posted a whole video on how to do that. And I'll also leave a link down below in the description. So as mentioned, there's a good chance you are not affected by these vulnerabilities. But if you have any doubt, just find the relevant update and download and install the update manually. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.